we looked at pyramids and prisms. And those all had edges, those all had straight sides, um, whereas a cone and a cylinder had one edge, one base, and then that became, uh, and then the rest were all the, the lateral, lateral surfaces, that, that smooth uh, shape. Well, if you look at a sphere, we have no bases whatsoever. So we've gone from two bases with prisms and cylinders to one base with cones and pyramids, to now we're looking at no bases with a sphere. A sphere is defined just like a circle. It's all the points that are the same distance away from that center, okay? So every point that I can make away from the center makes up this three-dimensional sphere. It goes out away from the board and around uh, the circle. So everything gets filled in there. So imagine like a, a basketball, a golf ball, a tennis ball, any kind of ball. Um, another thing that's going to mention here is uh, hemispheres. So we're going to be using this here, and especially that term great circle. Great circle is like the diameter. Diameter, if you remember from two dimensions, diameter is the greatest distance across the circle. It goes through the center. Um, I could do a chord. A chord is not the greatest distance, okay? Um, just like with a sphere, I can, make a, I can make a circle right here, but that would not be the great circle. That would be just a circle that I can make within this sphere. The great circle, uh, uses that center, it's the largest possible circle we can make. That's going to come in uh, later when we talk about surface area. All right, so volume. Uh, if you'll notice, they, we give a little explanation here. Um, I don't go into the full way that this is derived, but I did put a video from YouTube up here if you wanted to watch that. It's a little intense, but I think uh, if, you, if you watch it a couple times, it's like four minutes, maybe you'll start to kind of see where they're getting this from. Um, but the volume of a uh, hemisphere, half of a circle, is exactly, so here's that hemisphere right here. It's exactly halfway between a cylinder and a cone. Remember, a cylinder is, remember, pi times radius squared times the height, and a cone is one-third of that. So our formula for volume, that's, and that's half the circle. So you double that, or half the sphere, you double that, and you find our formula for a sphere is four thirds times pi r cubed. This cubed, the radius cubed is gonna be important because this is three dimensions. That radius could go anywhere in the circle, anywhere uh, toward the outside. So let's take a look at how this, uh, this works as far as uh, computing goes. Um, so what, what I have here, I'm gonna highlight a couple words. First of all, we're finding the volume. We have a radius of nine, and that's all the, all the information we need. Because now all I have to do is take my formula, volume equals 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed, times 9 cubed. And that's going to give me my answer. Um, there is one little trick here that's going to help you do these problems. So let's do 9 cubed first. We'll take this step by step. 9 times 9 is 81 times 9. 9 cubed is 729. So we have 4 thirds times pi times 729. Multiplying by 4 thirds could be a little tricky. We multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms. One easy way to remember this, this is the same thing as taking 729 times 4 and then dividing that by 3. Times 4 gives me 2916. When I divide that by 3, I get 972. So volume equals 972 times pi. And this says in terms of pi, okay? Um, in terms of pi. So that's actually 972 pi is, is one of our answers. What we need to do then is take 972 times 3.14, and that's going to give me my volume. Volume is 3,052.1 centimeters, should be cubed because volume is three dimensions. So that's it. You find the radius, you plug it in, cube it, multiply by 4, divide by 3, multiply by 3.14. Lots of little steps, but really, these are the easiest to visualize because usually the radius is right there. Next, surface area. We have our formula, 4 times pi r squared. Um, and that's the area of the great circle. Again, the circle that's the, the largest distance around. It's got to be that specific uh, circle there. Um, 
Again, I don't go into any deeper uh, explanation of the formula here, but there is a little bit of that in, that in the video I post, not much. So all I have to do here as far as uh, calculating this goes, it's very easy. I find the radius. In this case, the radius is 3. And I'm going to go surface area is 4 times pi times 3 squared this time. Because surface area remembers two dimensions. We're talking about along the surface. So if I gift wrap this ball for a present, what would that end up being? So surface area. 3 squared is 9, so it's 4 times pi times 9. 9 times 4 is 36. So if I get my answer in terms of pi, I'm going to have 36 pi. All right, and I'll take 36 times 3.14. And I get 113, call it 0. Or just 113. And my units, once again, these are inches. So remember, this is surface area. So it's inches squared, not inches cubed. That's it. For your quick check tonight, be careful, because you'll see a sphere. It'll say either find the volume or find the surface area. There are two different formulas here. Make sure you use the right one. Make sure you identify, first of all, which one you're supposed to be solving for.